Um, hello guys, uh, so today we'll learn how to create this multiple selections app and if you don't understand something please let me know in the comment. Will be great if you share with me your ideas or something you want to see in the next video that we can learn something together. I have built the UI. Uh, so to save time we correct a selectable it will return as boolean value true or false uh, because first rule we need to make sure is selectable less than a tree or return as is this hobbit already exist on the select hobbit or not so we can't just add two similar hobbits in one array. For example, here let's say we search uh, for number three. We'll search one by one and return if this one is already exist or not. Um, on tab so we need two things when we select in Hobbit we need to make sure if this Hobbit already inside uh, the select Hobbit array or not if it's already in the array we need to remove it and now else so now we may we have already make sure that is not exist else will be added to the array as you see in the final app we can select only three because already in our rules we have uh, the array have only three no more so let's start with the background. I want when I select one of hobbits with the background change. So I will explain this in a second. Um, all I want, like when I select it, will be red background or will be white. Let's make um, the color red so we can see it easily. This work like uh, the same if else and if is um, a true will be red else would be white Now I want a line above the Hobbit when I have selected so we can easily see which one I have selected. The same if selected will be a um, right color line else will be clear else will be no color. I 
want after I select the three hobbits that the other hobbits be uh, opacity 0 0.5 that that's mean the user will understand okay I can select any more hobbits I have only three I would like to add some effect when I select and hope it to be smaller 10% and uh, will be will be nice with some animations <laughs> 